is under investigation for lying in a search warrant that led to a deadly no-knock raid last month. Morning Dose's Courtney Carpenter joins us live in downtown with the latest. And Courtney, why was this latest case dismissed? Well, this here is the motion to dismiss the reason stated interest of justice. Now, this is the second case Officer Jill Goins was involved with that's now been dismissed. This one and the first one, both drug charges. This one was just dismissed yesterday, and it comes as a... Uh, as a sigh of relief for 24-year-old Travion Cornette, who was charged for having less than a gram of narcotics back in July. Reportedly from the start, he said the drugs weren't his. Now, the first case was dismissed last Wednesday, the same day District Attorney Kim Ogg announced the massive review. And that one, the charge of manufacturing and delivery against 35-year-old Courtney Jacobs, was dropped. Now they're going through all these cases after the realization that Officer Gerald Goins may have lied in a search warrant that led to a no-knock raid that turned into a deadly shootout where Dennis Tuttle and Regina Nicholas were killed and five officers were injured. Even though it's a huge undertaking, District Attorney Kim Ogg says they will continue to go through each and every case to give a fair review. We'll give the defendants who've been uh, subject to cases where Goins was uh, involved, they'll have a chance to review those cases just like we will. And we expect a, a wide array of results. It's hard to predict because we haven't yet begun other than the 27 pending and active cases, which were our immediate priority. Now, I'll explain that those 27 active cases, all of the active ones, aren't really the problem for her and her current staff, but she's going to go back to commissioner's court and ask for more funding so she can hire more prosecutors to help with the backlog of cases they already had. And then, of course, in addition, these 1,400 cases that Goins is involved with, they're having to go through each one of them. So a lot of work on their plate, of course, will continue to keep you updated on how all of that shakes out. For now, though, we're live downtown. All right, thank you so much for keeping us.